Assalamualaikum and hi guys Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you Okay, how can we identify and determine the types of functional group that is present in a chemical compound Okay, as you can see in the lecture notes, there are a list of functional groups that is present So there are quite a lot of it and for each of the names of the functional groups, you need to memorize. Okay, for example, so okay, we have alkene, alkene, alkyne, and aromatic. Okay, so that is the class of compound. Okay, the names of the organic compound. Okay, but its functional group is like carbon carbon double bond, carbon carbon triple bond, aromatic ring. And if let's like, say we are having alcohol or phenol, so the functional group is hydroxyl. Okay, ether is alcohol C. Whereas if we have uh, aldehyde and ketone, is carbonyl. If it's carboxylic acid, is carboxyl. Okay, so we have a more complicated organic compound which consisting of compounds such as is ester, okay, resyl chloride, and hydride, amide, amine, and natrile. Okay, so you can refer on your lecture notes. Okay, from the page of twenty one until the page of twenty five for all for the long list of the functional groups. Okay, for the types of compound and the shapes, uh, the structure of your functional groups and examples of the compound that make up that organic compound. Okay, so please do refer to your lecture notes. Okay, so in this video, I'm assuming okay you have the lecture notes next to you as a reference. Okay, so let's look at this first compound. We're going to identify the different types of functional group that is present. So first, we need to circle them. Okay, so we have here the first one is OH. Okay, and then we have here C double bond O with NH2. Okay, this is the second functional group. The third functional group is this halogen. Okay, and then we have here O. And then NH2 and lastly we have here so in total we have about 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 functional group okay so let's look one by one and name the functional group all right so OH okay the first functional group is OH which we call it as hydroxyl okay so the first one we name it as Hydroxyl. Okay, so the second one is C double bond O attached to NH2. Okay, so this is the functional group that is present in your amide, and we call this functional group as carboxamide. Okay, so in the third one, okay, so we have here chlorine. Chlorine is halogen. Okay, which made your haloalkane compound. So this functional group name is halogen. Okay, whereas the functional group for your number four is an oxygen atom, which directly attached to two different carbon, which is an example of ether compound. So this is alkoxy functional group. Okay, which is in your ether. Okay. Okay, so in the fifth one, so we have here an H2, which directly attached to carbon. So this one is an amine. So the names of this functional group is amino. Okay, sometimes we call it as amino 2. Okay, amino or amino. Okay, and the last one is a double bond. Okay, just like in alkene. So this functional group, we call it as carbon, carbon, double bond. Okay, so let's rewrite. Okay, so first, the first functional group is hydroxy. Okay, so second functional group is carboxamide. Okay, the third functional group is halogen. Okay, the fourth one is alkoxy. Okay, the fifth is amino. And the six is carbon carbon number one. Okay. So let's move on to the second question. Let's first circle the different functional group that is present. 
Okay, so the first one from the left, we have here C double bond O, O, H. So this is the first functional group. Okay, secondly, I saw NH2, which is your second functional group. And the third one, we have here C double bond O, directly attached to nitrogen. So this is the third functional group. Okay, and then we have here benzene ring. Okay, as your fourth functional group. So we have here C double bond O, attached directly to another oxygen atom, single bond. Okay, so this one looks like in the ester compound. So this is your fifth functional group. Okay, so let's let's name it. Okay, so the first one is C double bond O, O, H. Okay, just like in your carboxylic acid. So this one, we call it as carboxyl. Okay, so the second one is NH2, a single bond to another carbon. So this is amino, amino or amino. Okay, and the third one is C double bond O, and that C is directly bond to a nitrogen, just like in your amide. Okay, so this is carboxamide. Alright, and the number four we have here is a benzene ring and its functional group we name it as aromatic ring. Okay, and the fifth one is C double bond O and that C is directly attached to another oxygen atom, single bond, just like in aster. This one we name it as carboalkoxy. Okay, so if in the exam, please list it down like from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so let's move on to the third question. So the first one we have here, C double bond O. And then we have the second one, C double bond C. In the double bond, okay, carbon, carbon, double bond. And then we have here a benzene ring. So this is the third one. Okay, and then we have here halogen number four. Fifth is C triple bond C. Okay, so this is number five. And then we have here COOH six. And this one is C double bond OH. Okay, so if in the sixth functional group is COOH double O oxygen, whereas in the seventh functional group we only have one oxygen which is double bond with a carbon. Okay. And then we have the last one here down here. Okay, it's number eight, C double bond O, and that C attached to another oxygen atom. Okay, so let's write for the first one. So the first one is C double bond O. Okay, so this is your first one. It looks exactly like in the ketone. Okay, so we call it as carbonate. Carbonate. Okay, carbonate. Okay, secondly is Carbon, carbon, double bond. So the third functional group here is is a benzene ring. Okay, so we call it as aromatic ring. Okay, the fourth functional group is consisting of chlorine, so which is a halogen. Okay. And the number five, we have here C triple bond with another C. So this one we call it as carbon carbon triple bond. Okay. Okay, so number six is COOH. So we call it as carbonyl. Okay, so number six is carboxyl. Okay, so if carbonyl is C double bond O only, whereas carboxyl, we have C double bond O and then C bond with another oxygen atom. Okay, so number 7 is looks like exactly like in your functional group first. So this is carbonyl. Okay, and then number 8, we have here C double bond O and that C attached to another oxygen and that oxygen attached to another C. So it's quite is very different from COOH because that 
oxygen is bonded to hydrogen but in this one okay this oxygen is bonded to another carbon okay another alkyl group so this one instead of carboxyl is actually carboalkoxy okay so i already give you enough examples to identify functional groups in different types of organic compounds okay so please do memorize all the names of the functional groups okay is the name is different from the name of the organic compound so please be alert about this okay thank you guys